What's good, everybody? KK Millhouse is about to make another video. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually putting thought, actual thought into my videos. All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over my entire process of like how I would approach learning and studying more and understanding as much as I can. I grew up with Mega Man and Sonic, where watching Dragon Ball episodes were like hard to find or Toonami was barely starting up. And then we had Tenchi Muyo in space and I already set myself a bar that I wanna get to. Uh, I'm not gonna be mimicking those styles per se, but I need to learn a lot so I can uh, start producing like some really cool dope things. Uh, my top strategies on learning and how I can increase my, uh, my brain power to learn as much as I can. And, um, you know, it's funny because I used to make fun of people who do this and, um, I, well, not really make fun of, but I just made fun of the idea of it. But, uh, meditation actually helps out a lot. Uh, I spend like a good hour or so, 30 minutes to an hour in the morning, just meditating that it reduces stress. It, uh, reduces anxiety. And then on top of that, it may help with memory. And, uh, last thing I learned is that, uh, you know, all the information is kind of stored in our brain somewhere where we have to locate it. So um, that's all part of memory. So that's why I'm meditating. <laughs> this one's kind of embarrassing. Like, well, for me, because I don't really do this often, but I started taking a, a liking of doing this is now uh, getting vitamin D and you can take vitamin D as a supplement, but it's a lot easier if you just walk outside hardly any clothes on or shirt just be just be just be as just have as much skin showing as possible if it's of walking outside and absorbing all the sweet sweet vitamin d is that it improves your mood um it reduces inflammation and then on top of that it helps with your brain function so something to do with the light pattern and when our eyes get hit the, the sunlight it actually helps us I don't know, like, understand that it's day, therefore we should be more alert, we should be more focused, we should be more awake. And then, like, I don't know, when, you, when you're walking outside and just listen to some nice music, you know, it just makes you feel good. And, like, a big, big advocate of just working out, weightlifting, and cardio overall, because the benefits to that is just stupid. You can't pass up all these good benefits. It's like getting a job that gives you paid sick leave and paid vacation time. It's paid everything. For sure, working out has like definitely changed my life and the, like the biggest benefits from working out is just you have more energy, for one. Uh, some days I find myself with way too much energy and I'm like considered spazzy and I'm just kind of like all over the place but it's like in a good way or a positive way. Uh, more awake, more alert, more focused type of thing. Uh, with blood and oxygen being pulled to your brain. So therefore, it's helping your brain work a lot more better. Therefore, you know, cleaning up some of the mess that we probably inhale through the environment of smog or whatever, or some toxins or pollutions, or even just mold in the house. Um, it increases the oxygen and blood flow to the brain, therefore helping you function a little bit better and grow new brain cells. Uh, that's the thing that's gonna make you smarter, make you learn more, like you have more memory and then you get to access all this through just two or three of the things I just described so far. Cold showers. I take cold showers uh, whenever I work out. So. Cold showers every day, especially after workouts. Uh, when I'm done working out, I quickly jump into a sauna, give myself some heat treatment that helps me get my face all clear for YouTube. After that, I jump into a cold shower, shock my system. I'm way, I'm way more, uh, I'm way more awake, I'm way more focused, I'm way more cognitive. Now I am, I am here. I am present. I am clear. Those proven study that it also reduces inflammation and lots of pain, especially after a workout. You're done working on your muscles, your guns, and stuff like that. You just jump into a cold shower. The the cold water would like help with the pain, help with the swelling. 
your body's own little stress hormones when it comes to building muscles. So you'll feel a lot more better. But the moment you also put some cold water on your forehead, that can also reduce some brain swelling that we probably don't know that's going on. That helps us become more focused and way more alert throughout the day. I'm trying to be the most that I could ever be so I can get really good really fast and just outwork all my friends. People think I'm losing sleep. I'm not really losing sleep. I'm actually more awake than I've ever been. I actually get great sleep on less sleep. So I don't know. I'm all about trying to be as optimal as possible. Ever since I discovered the keto diet, uh, it's changed my life dramatically. Uh, there's times where I hit plateaus and I feel like I couldn't lose any more weight or I want to get like really shredded so I can show my friends that if I can get shredded, they can too. And I'm coming from 300 pounds to 190. Now I'm like, I don't really care about being shredded as much as I wanted to be. Is now I'm all about, I want to be as optimal as possible. I want to try to be like perfect cell. No, just perfect mentally and physically. <laughs> the three biggest things that I rep about the keto diet, which I love, the three benefits, is that um, it helps reduce like brain fog. Like you ever wake up in the morning and you wake up and you're just groggy, lethargic, and you're just kind of like all over the place, but you're just moving very slowly. Yeah, that's not normal. We're not supposed to be able to do that. Like that means that there's something wrong with you. Your energy levels are off or you're eating too much of something. That's not normal at all whatsoever. Normal is waking up and not having the brain fog and actually going throughout your day. Um, I wake up very quickly and I just go straight into meditation before I start moving, before I start looking at social media, before I start thinking about content to make. I just meditate quickly, get my day started off right. Improve your heart rate and your heart rate is what also, well, your heart in general is what also drives blood and oxygen to your brain to help you function a little bit better. Therefore, it probably would explain why you have clarity when you're on a ketogenic diet. You have more energy because your body's using fat and your entire body is mostly fat, not carbs, not sugar. So your body's feeding off, like think of it as your, that you are a battery. You are a battery. And um, by getting rid of all the, the stuff that you don't need, you are the perfect battery. You just need to sleep to recharge and you wake up. You don't need that toast. You don't need pasta or anything or any type of sugar, to be honest. Your body's using fats for energy, and that's what I really like about it. So, super energetic all the time. I am rarely tired. The only time I'm tired is that I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, and I stay up until, God knows, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to be tired. I'm, I was up all morning, all night, and I've like, been looking at a screen forever. Yeah, I'm going to be tired. But, but literally, that's one of the few ways I ever get tired nowadays. So it's kind of crazy. I normally get tired after a meal or something. And another reason that I also love the ketogenic diet is that it reduces inflammation. Our bodies over the course of years have probably been building up a lot of inflammation and this is, we build up inflammation through our habits like if we're either smoking cigarettes, or eating terrible food that we know we shouldn't be eating. Uh, that's why a lot of us probably, like if you ever heard that turmeric also decreases inflammation. I don't know, I think I should just go and make another video about inflammation and what it does to the body. I think with that, with that video and you just understand what inflammation does overall, you can avoid it because once you decrease the inflammation in your body, you will run more efficiently, more optimally. You're just, I, I can't, I can't describe it. It's like being super saiyan 24 seven or something. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's great. Like I'm always in a good mood. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a like, uh, tell me what you guys like to do, uh, to help you with your learning or studying. If you like to increase your, 
brain power by eating chocolate or something. I don't know. There's a bunch of different methods out there for studying. Just tell me whatever works for you and I, so I can steal it and use it for myself and so I can like reach my goals. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to. Hit that red bell if you want to like get any messages about when I'm posting a new video. And you know, you guys have a goodie. Bye. Peace.